Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Volca and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, uh, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments Capricorn. As well as that, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Or if you just enjoy my vibe, Capricorn, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe because it does help out this tarot channel a lot. Now I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take the extra step to support me in that way. But remember to use your intuition, Capricorn, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Put it in perspective, right? Uh, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought today, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, Capricorn, but never making the choice in your life because it's not my life to live, nor these tarot cards' lives to live. It's yours. So with all that being said, said let's just get into your weekly tarot reading capricorn and seeing where you guys are currently at in your journey where it is you're feeling where it is you're headed to and you guys are at the four of fire and the four of wands so beautiful energy to be at this card says contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project now taurus you guys or why did I just call you guys Taurus Capricorn? I apologize. Now Capricorn, <laughs> you guys, this is more so coming in as an affirming message that you guys are definitely on the right track with wherever it is that you're heading towards right now. Some of you guys may be dealing with some current obstacles right now, and that's why the card came forward, Capricorn. But, you know, I feel like you guys are keeping your eyes on the prize. Um, I do feel like you guys are staying committed to the path, and so I celebrate you guys for that. I do just get this sneaking suspicion, though, um, that you guys... There's something that y'all are going through. I don't know. It's like, I'm going to pull some clarifiers though, because I just get this like sneaking suspicion. That something is like an itch, a metaphorical itch. Mm, King of Cups, I was right. So your emotions, you're a little bit haywire right now. You're not feeling really stable in a situation or some, something you don't really feel like you're on stable grounding with emotionally. You don't know what to make of a situation while you're going down this path currently. What is this about though? So we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. You don't want to move away from something. You don't want to have to Capricorn transition right? Oh, baby, Capricorn, you want to eat, you, this is a card letting me know you want to have your cake and eating it too, darling. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm going to be the same way. Uh, but, and this is, this is one of those situations where it's like, you want to grow, Capricorn. You want to evolve in life, but you want to still be holding on to some past baggage, some souvenirs that you collected like 10 vibrations ago, right? You've been growing and up-leveling yourself in this process of ascending, right, darling, in your own way. But you are still trying to hold on to some things uh, that was beneficial to you at one point, right? For my Capricorn nerds that are going to, they're going to appreciate this analogy. It's like you started a video game with the starting gear that you have, and then you've gone, you gained like 30 levels, baby, and you're just still holding on to that armor that you started the game with just in case, right? You want to, you want to have your cake and eat it too, right? You're not happy that you like with this growth comes with having to walk away from something, letting go of something, moving on, darling. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Is this because you're afraid of a, you know, cause when I see this King of Pentacles in the reverse, there's some type of instability that you're afraid of. Is this old situation that you're moving on from, like something that was providing some sense of stability in your life and that's why this is on your mind, Capricorn? Do you worry if you, that you would, if you're able to fully take care of yourself in some capacity or for you to handle something on your own? keep things stable seven of cups in the reverse huh. capricorn i can't help but feel like some of you guys are feeling lost 
while you're still going down the correct path, it feels almost as if you don't know the next right move in your life, especially with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Y'all, I don't get this feeling like y'all know the right, or you feel as if you don't know what the right next move is for yourself. Some of you guys, Taurus, or I keep wanting to call you guys Taurus Capricorn, I promise this is not Taurus's reading. <laughs> Theirs is already way done. And <laughs> but I do get this feeling, Capricorn, that it's just like, almost like paralysis, over, like paralysis by over analysis, almost, where it's just like, you, I don't know. I feel like you guys just kind of need to take action rather than um, getting too in your head. It's like, it's one of those situations, and this is going to sound weird, Capricorn, but I feel like you're going to understand it where it's like, you care so much about it, this situation or a certain situation. And when you, there's a certain level when you care too much, it starts influencing or impacting you in not a lovely way. And I feel like this is kind of what's happening here. I feel like there's this almost like caring too much that there's ending up to being some level of self-sabotage unintentionally um, because of almost just like what starts out as like a little fear or anxiety starts bubbling up into something so much more darling. So let's see how this journey continues for you, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Wands coming in, continuing on with this fiery energy for you. This card says, don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage in believing in yourself, right? I mean, naturally, these cards are just flowing together so beautifully for you, Capricorn. It already says what I already told you from before, does it not? Uh, where it's telling you to have courage, have faith, you know, don't get in your head too much. Get, it, get rid of that anxiety, get rid of that fear before it bubbles into something and manifests into something greater before it manifests really into a, a bigger blockage in your life than what it than just it being a mental block page of air page of swords coming in here and this card says challenging information delays or changes to plans truth delivered without tact so this is definitely a week capricorn where i feel like you guys kind of need to speak your truth and don't be afraid of hurting some feelings now obviously capricorn i'm not telling you to hurt people go out with the intention of hurting people's feelings but i do get this strong sense that some of you guys are have been caring too much about the emotions of other people or how someone else or someone else is you know i meant to have that be plural capricorn more than one person a group of people perhaps uh their emotions and how they will react to something and i feel like you kind of like by you suppressing your voice i feel like is what's going on capricorn you end up uh doing a disservice to yourself and i feel like that's what's going on here i feel like you need to take a stand and set some strong boundaries make it clear where it is that you are emotionally at mentally at and make sure that everyone's on the same page so that way because i can't help but feel like there is some type of resentment bubbling up because you're not speaking up about what's making you uncomfortable because you just are i mean it's very much so codependent energy on some level or very much so capricorn i'm tapping into some very much so how many times can I say very much so, Capricorn? Uh, I'm about to say it again, but very much so, I'm getting people-pleasing energy uh, from this, right? Y'all care so much about whether it's just this one singular, like, this situation in general, or you just care about people's emotions in general so much that you don't want to disappoint them. In this, in this situation here, I feel like you need to speak your truth. Eight of, pen, or eight of Wands coming in here in the reverse. There's something that you are being pushed to doing or something that you don't want to personally do. And I don't know if some of you guys are being peer pressured Capricorn into a situation or like, and that peer pressure could be just like the events of life where it's like you're feeling like you're being pushed into a corner and that you have to do this, right? Having to tap into some last resort in some way and ignoring your intuition high priestess card. I really do feel like you're having, you're being pushed, like something's trying to influence you to do something that just doesn't feel right to you. That doesn't, you know, your heart's not into it. And like, even from the get go while you're doing it, you're kind of like the one where it's just like, I don't know if this is a good idea, y'all. Right. And I, that's very much so the energy that I'm getting. And I feel like you need to speak up and be like, hey, I don't think this is a good idea and be OK with being the one to speak up about this, because I feel like it is important for you to do so. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. There's definitely, yeah, something that you want to pull the brakes on. 
Capricorn, something you want to pull the brakes on and be like, I don't want to, you don't want to be part of something. You really want to disconnect from something entirely. But why are you suppressing your voice with this though? Four of Wands. Is this because like you feel like you, some of you guys have to endure this portion to get to your end goal, right? Because I did make the comment from before Capricorn where I was just like, okay, you guys are keeping your eyes on the prize. And while that inherently doesn't sound like it's such a bad thing, right? I was keeping my eyebrow raised because I was just like, okay, Capricorn, you're having your eyes on the prize, but I feel like there's something a little bit more going on here. Um, this is showing to me, uh, yeah, like it feels like Capricorn, you're enduring something because you feel like you have to, because you want to uh, get to where it is that you want to go with this four of wands. So I'll just use an example of like, let's just say that you want to be famous capricorn or that you want to come be able to like yeah let's just say you want to be famous so you end up enduring certain uh behaviors or enduring certain work environments just because you want you feel as if you if you were to make a ruckus things would go south for you right it would sabotage your end goal of being famous or you know you're trying to have like you're just enduring like a living situation a toxic living situation because you're trying to save money capricorn right so you are putting yourself through a big struggle and keeping your mouth quiet and silencing your voice I don't feel like it's doing you good. Ten of Pent Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I don't feel like this is making you feel good whatsoever, Capricorn. I get this strong feeling that this isn't going to last forever for you. Um, if I really do feel like there's this strong urge or this strong push, Capricorn, for you to speak your truth in this way, in this regard, because I do feel like it's going to fester into something a lot worse if you don't speak your truth in this way. And put it in perspective, Capricorn. Think about how it is that you're going to be communicating uh, what's going on with you. If you're having re reservations about communicating with it, think, put it in perspective. If you and I are friends, right? And I do something that annoys you, right? If I like smack my lips a bunch or like if I always call you, that's what it is, what it is right? I call you by like the wrong pronoun or like I do something that's just like, you know, my banter is just a little bit too aggressive for you, right? You don't say it, right? Because you don't want to hurt my feelings or you don't want me to whatever, then you end up repressing it, internalizing it. I continue doing it because I'm not aware that it bothers you until it comes to a point where you blow up because it's just been festering, right? When I mean, you could have just said something at the beginning, potentially cause a little bit of discomfort, right? Because humans are humans, but I feel like they should understand if they care, right? If they care about the connection, they sh it shouldn't be a big deal, right? Put it in that in perspective. So let's see how this journey closes out for you, Capricorn, this week. So we have the Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles coming right in very strongly for you. This talks about a very happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in little things in life. <laughs> yeah, I'll notice I'm getting a little bit tired of this hat now. It's starting to get hot in here. I don't know why. Um, even though it's a little bit cooler outside, so I don't know why I'm like randomly heating up Capricorn. <laughs> um, I'm just like wearing a wig, darling. So, <laughs> so silly. Uh, so with this Ten of Pentacles here, this is definitely a good card to have. Um, this definitely Definitely turns out to be a good week for you in the end, Capricorn. So let's get some clarifiers on this though. We have here the Five of Pentacles coming in. We have the Six of Pentacles coming in in the reverse, as well as the Queen of Cups coming in. So you guys are definitely Capricorn making this transition because i feel like whatever it was that you're sinking energy into you there isn't you didn't ever feel like you belonged in it like you always felt out of place there's always like some of you guys probably felt like you were just sinking a bunch of energy into a dead situation right and i feel like you guys are taking steps like taking the proper steps to not only secure the uh sense of security for you right but you also are doing something that just makes you feel personally really good right four of pentacles yeah you guys are just shifting where it is you're investing your energy into investing your four of pentacles into um so you guys are just doing a slight editing phase right you're pulling out of some stocks put stocks into other things whatever those stocks are for you capricorn so continue down this path right um so definitely stay the course but uh now capricorn let's get into y'all's 
uh, love and social situations this week. Let's see what Tarot has to say, Capricorn, when it comes to your love and social situations. Now, keep in mind, I always say social situations, Capricorn, because we have more than just romantic relationships in our life. We have platonic ones, work, family, friends, acquaintances, all of that. All right. So let's see what's going on. The lover's card naturally does come out, of course, though. So number six for numerology, this card says intimate relationships, carefully weighing out your decisions and good health. This also rep uh, represents big decisions being made, right? Now, this is, I really feel like right off the bat, addressing some type of current familiar energy in your life. In the lover's card, you know, this is more so representation of something that you have an intimate relationship with, right? You know, just more vulnerable. With. Again, it doesn't have to be anything in that like weird sexual way at all, darling. Judgment call, uh, card coming in. This is definitely starting to be giving me a hints at what we are addressing in your general portion of your reading, Capricorn. I'm going to be honest here because you guys are making a judgment call, a tough call, a tough decision when it comes to how you're handling a situation in your life that's very personal to you. Three of Cups, more than one person. Is this like a group thing? This does involve more than one energy. Justice card, but if something is out of balance that you have to take action on with this judgment. How does this pan out? Temperance card, wait it out. Capricorn, in this message, you guys have the right idea. You have the right mind on like how to handle a situation. But I do get this sense that before, like a lot of you guys have this strong desire to just like you know, be extremely cutthroat in this situation at this point. I do feel like this this is a week where it's just like identifying the intention behind people, identify the people that are not going to be in your life for a long period of time, but this is not the week to be taking action, I feel. I feel this is one of those things where it's just like you mentally like place people where they need to be placed right and then at a later point perhaps you start taking action in terms of handling the, this connection but at this time current point in time i feel like it's more important just for you to put something or someone rather in perspective or really figuring out like where someone just places and ranks in your life you know figure that out first and maybe next week something else will pan out something else will come to light which I do suspect just because spirit is asking you to take a moment's pause when it comes to this connection. And that would be like the only natural reason as to why spirit would tell you that. So, uh, yeah, Capricorn. Now let's get into your financial and career situation this week. Capricorn, let's see what's going on. What Tara has to say for your financial and career situation. Two cards trying to come out for you. Two of fire or two of wands with the nine of earth and the nine of pentacles naturally coming in for you. So definitely long-term plans when it comes to your career this week. Very much so uh, oriented around, again, success with like the things that you do this week. Things that you are personally responsible for, Capricorn, I feel like is going to be extremely, like give you an extremely good payout. Um, but it is definitely reliant on you. Think about the long term, though. Something I just keep on hearing. So let's get some clarifiers on this before we close out this reading. Queen of Swords, know what, what to put your distance self. You know, yeah, this is definitely a card of like, know what to distance yourself from, know when to call it quits on something. Uh, the Empress card coming in, know what to also protect, as is Queen of Swords as well, because the Queen of Swords is very good about protecting uh, her thoughts and feelings and what it is that she's trying to grow. I feel like this Queen of Swords is protecting this Empress energy or whatever it is that you're trying to give birth to, whatever it is you're trying to create in your career and financial situation. Uh, we have here the Knight of Swords in the reverse here. Now, I feel like the biggest thing you need to protect yourself from is Capricorn, partially something that's influencing you guys. Now, is this an internal influence, something that's going on in your own head, Capricorn, or is this an exterior influence? Let's see. The Hanged Man, something that's changing your perspective and some needing to commit, right? Is there a commitment issue? Are you being spooked out and like going all in in a situation? Yeah, and it's almost like, Capricorn, there's something you're feeling hesitant on taking action with. Um, and I feel like uh, it's almost like through this intimidation that you're experiencing or through this hesitancy, that's what's slowing you down currently. Now, 
I don't know if I don't know if I can really give advice on this uh, necessarily. I don't feel like I'm really qualified currently. I never had to say this before Capricorn, but I don't know if I feel necessarily qualified to really go deeper with this, with this, uh, with this, with this. But I do feel like you need to, at the very least, acknowledge this. And I feel like at that point, Capricorn, you yourself will know how to handle it from there. But at the very least, acknowledge the problem. And I mean, personally, Capricorn, I always say it's through acknowledging the problem in the first place. That's like the majority of the battle. Once you know where the problem is and you're able to acknowledge it, then the rest of it comes so much easier, in my opinion, right? But Capricorn, that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you in this weekly reading. If they did, let me know in the comments below. Capricorn, if you want to book a private personal reading by me, check out the comments below. Um, and uh, I say check out the comments below. Leave a comment below of which cards resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tarot reading. And then also Capricorn, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them my video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. I love you so much, Capricorn.